right, guys, I'm going to add a, an extension to my trailer. Um, I did this on a previous trailer. It worked out really well for me. <clears throat> it's a little different configuration on this particular trailer. I just removed, this is a 3-inch um, bar here. Let's see if I can get this for you. Okay. It's a 3-inch bar. It's going to require uh, right at a 2.5-inch bar to go on the inside to lengthen it out and the reason I want to do this is uh, it makes it so much easier and a lot less worrisome at the boat ramp um, when these trailers are configured like this you're really subject to the boat ramps the the decline uh, the, the, the angle of the ramp tide that type of thing and you end up uh, inevitably having to put the rear tires of your vehicle into the water in order to get your boat off the trailer and that can be a little bit cumbersome if you're if you're launching by yourself an extension makes it so much easier it's a little bit of work but it just pays great dividends okay this is my hitch uh, she is for a three inch bar and uh, the two and a half inch I went over to the uh, the uh, steel yard purchased this yesterday. She's right at two and a half inches. And um, two and a half inches, and this is a quarter inch. So she's very heavy. Very, very heavy. Let's see what the length is. I ordered six feet. They didn't have six feet. This is just, just under seven feet. It's 83 inches. And so I'll make the determination whether I want to cut it down to six feet. I'm going to go ahead and slide it into the slide it into the bar out there and into the tongue area and see how much I have protruding over and then we'll mark everything from there and uh, the the objective is to get my holes drilled get everything cleaned up real good uh, I'll go ahead and put some primer on this try to get as much primer on the inside as I can and painter because they really are subject to decay and uh, rust out here in these humid, salty environments in Florida. Okay, all right. What I did was um, I cut me a wedge and drove it in on top of this bar to push my bar up flush to the top of the trailer tang, the mounting point here. That runs me up to where I can find my holes here, here, and I'll put at least one in the back to keep this bar from wanting to push down during towing when weight's put on it. That'll keep everything nice and level. And that wood will just keep everything tight in there uh, while we do our uh, drilling. I went ahead and placed them. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes. I'm gonna use this uh, Stinger Mock Blue. And instead of using my, my cordless, I'm gonna go ahead and use this hammer drill, put on a standard drill function. Uh, drill your hole on one side and go over and drill your hole on the other. And even when you don't have the holes, uh, typically what I'll do is put a C-clamp and draw my holes around each side of the C-clamp so I'm sure that I'm going through properly. But uh, uh, I will not try to drill all the way through with the drill because it's very difficult unless you have a guide to stay straight. So I recommend drilling one side at a time. Let's see how this bit does. Probably wouldn't hurt to put just a little bit of oil. No, that's not a cutting oil, but uh, it will at least hopefully save my bit. This is half inch steel or quarter inch steel. Okay, all right. But I'm going to use this C clamp to increase my chances of getting. center on both sides. <clears throat> and that will give me center. And it's down a little more <clears throat> to get into the meat of the bar. Punch, score the top of this 
a little bit of a dimple. Dimple it in. We'll see how that works out. <clears throat> Next up is applying the hitch. Uh, there is a two and a half inch hitch for this channel, uh, for this bar here, but uh, I really want to go with the heavier duty hitch. And I've got some, uh, some aluminum flat stock that I use to mount my light bar on the center console tower. It's right at a quarter of an inch or three sixteenths inch, I'm not sure. Quarter of an inch, I believe, thick. And it appears that it will slide in here just about perfect on each side. The objective is to get these up in there. I'll go ahead and put that there, just to make sure I don't have any movement. My trailer chains or my cables. I wish I could make an interval with that, but I don't know that that would be a good idea. I'll let you know what I decide. Okay, we're just going to top coat it real good with uh, primer. And uh, I also sprayed a lot of primer on the inside. I stood it up on end and let it work itself down through the bar. That might give me a, an extra year or two out of this bar, considering the exposure to salt air and salt water. Okay, this is pretty much the completed project. Uh, several coats of primer and paint. I, I do need to tie this on. Uh, my, I, I lengthened that out. A um, couple of things. The quarter inch plates on this hitch that has a three inch channel. This is a two and a half inch bar. Those quarter inch plates uh, fit in there perfectly and took up the space. Uh, made a very, very rigid mount. I did decide to mount my uh, safety chains, my safety cables, apart from the hitch itself. I mounted those into the bar where they were originally uh, back here. And uh, one of the thing about drilling your holes through all of this metal, three and a half inches, uh, I did use the, the uh, clamp, the C-clamp, to spot my holes on each side. I drilled in one side, drilled in the other, but I found it necessary for ease of application that once I did have my hole on each side to start at one side and go all the way through with your bit and clean the hole on this side and that side to match perfectly makes it much easier to get your bolt through and to get, then get it locked off these are a, a one half inch stainless bolts they're uh, right at uh, three and a half to four inches in length I forget with a threaded nut that has the uh, polymer washer on the inside the polymer lock on the inside but uh, that's a little over three inches or correction three feet in uh, extension and I 
still am a little concerned about the integrity of the bar over a period of time, whether or not it should be shortened just a little bit to strengthen this bar far as the tongue weight is concerned. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this and I'll keep an eye on it. And if it does, if I do notice any any compromise in the integrity of the bar, I'll have to either shorten it if, it's, if that's possible or I'll just replace it. This bar is expensive. If, uh, if the, uh, the quarter inch two and a half or two and a half was uh, sixty dollars at my local steel yard but I think it's gonna I think the integrity will be fine and that should allow me to keep my tow vehicles rear wheels out of the water I should get plenty of float on the back of the boat early and be able to get it off the trailer without any problem what I ended up doing was coming through the trailer extension that I put on recently, drilled a hole here under the bottom, came through, and um, I shrink, shrink wrapped all of this, wired it up real good. Hope this uh, helps you guys, and if it did, please like the video. Thank you.